Cosmetic dentistry is becoming increasingly popular in the UK, with many Brits looking for the perfect smile. Unlike most healthcare in the UK, not all dental work is covered by the NHS. If you are looking for cosmetic work, especially for veneers or crowns, it can prove very expensive. Crowns starting at prices ranging from £500 to £1,000. So it's not surprising, therefore, that people look abroad for their treatment. Clinic centre prices start at around £200 per crown, which is a lot cheaper than the UK. I'm going to be speaking to Elizabeth to find out if the price is the only reason she came to Turkey for her treatment. We have a before and after behind us. Uh, so this was last week, right? Yes, it was. And then this is the results that we've we've come to today, or was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah, last night. What made you decide to come to Turkey for your treatment? Um, so I had a consultation a couple of years ago um, with a dentist that I had a brace with a couple of years ago. Um, he quoted me six thousand pounds for six veneers, oh. um, and I've obviously got this many teeth for not even half the price. So. Wow. It's really worth coming over here. So how many teeth was that quoted for? In the UK, yeah. six. And you've had? Here, 20. 20 teeth. Yeah. For half the price. For half the price, yeah. It does seem to be a big part of the reason that people come out here is the yeah. price difference. Was there any other aspect that made you come to Turkey or was it mainly the price? Well, definitely the results that I've seen because mm. I follow them on Instagram and mm. their results are just amazing. Um, and then I did actually message quite a few people that have had the treatments with the clinic centre before as well, just because I wanted to make sure they were legit and they looked after you and everything like that. So I had some real good feedback, so that was what spurred me on to book it. Really. Did you have any concerns at all? Anything you were worried about? Because obviously there's a lot of stories in the press about yeah. you know uh, going abroad for these kind of treatments. Were you afraid? A little bit, yeah. I think it's sort of a risk that you have to take if you want to do it, but. I think all the risk and all the worries were put to bed once I spoke to the ex-patients from the clinic centre. It does seem that aftercare is a big talking point for a lot of people and the concern yeah. is if you go back to the UK and you can't see someone, what do you yeah. do next? So is that an important thing for you to have aftercare? I think so because mm. if, if you're going to travel all the way out here, spend all this money, you need to know that if something does go wrong there's going to be someone there to help you. But I have been assured that there's a place opening in London. So, fingers crossed nothing will go wrong, but if it does, I know that there is someone there to help me. And you're glad that you did? Really glad, yeah. It will change my life, like my confidence will, will be amazing now. What we're seeing in the UK at the moment is an ever-growing trend of people looking to have cosmetic dental work to look for a perfect smile. Why do you think this is becoming so popular? According to me, health uh, two, has two branches, like a mental branch and the phys physiological branch. Maybe you can chew properly, you have no pain, but when you look at the mirror, you are not happy. You cannot smile properly and this makes you not feel good. After having whiter, straighter and aligned teeth, when you look at the mirror, you can smile and this can change your life. Changing your smile literally can change your life and you can feel yourself more confident. So we spoke with Elizabeth today. What is it that she had done? What was the procedure? She was very hard case because her midline tilted to the left and there was a skeletal problem. Her palate was very narrow, something else. At first we advised her to maybe have an orthodontic treatment, but she says that I'm determined, I'm here to fix this. And we started with the gum contouring, you know, because the pink and the white aesthetic must follow each other. Without the pink aesthetic, white is nothing. So we did the gum contouring, then we filed her teeth and to catch the midline in the proper position we need to do the root canal treatments. You know, when you file the teeth we need to remove the nerve out to avoid the pain in the future. So obviously you're performing a lot of uh, procedures, uh, many thousands. How many cases are there where you have complications? What kind of percentage? Only 1% of risk we see. And this caused by the not brushing, not pro maintaining the oral hygiene properly. Uh, is this similar to around the world? Uh, uh, this is our success, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people um, come to Turkey, I understand, because it's, it's cheaper, it's more affordable. Why is that the case? How, how do you make it so much cheaper? In Turkey, the rents are cheaper, salaries for the workers are cheaper. That's why uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the world. Dental treatments are becoming more and more commonplace, especially abroad where the prices are cheaper. 
lower labour costs and also rental costs bring down the price for the customer. My advice would be to do your research, search for reputable companies that you can trust and also speak to any friends and family that have been abroad for similar treatments. I'd also say that materials used in reputable companies are similar or the same to that in the UK. Just do your research.